What's up everybody? So recently I put together this Cinewhoop and I really like flying this thing. And some people are asking, hey, how do you build one? Is that the cheapest you can do? And you know what? I got to thinking, I've got an extra frame. Why not build one? And you know what? Let's see if I can do it cheaper. So I picked up a Tyro 79. Now this is $79 kit. This is basically a build yourself a three inch quad. And uh, I thought, you know what? I have an extra donut frame. Rather than using the three inch frame, let's make another set of what, so that's what we're gonna do. But this time, $79, 30 bucks, we're gonna do it for about $110. Pretty darn good. Let's check it out. All right, so we got a little quick teaser GoPro 8 action from uh, the Whoop. I love it. Uh, but before we get into this, let's talk about uh, what comes in the kit and how do we put it together. Let's take a look and see what you get inside this Isheen Tyro 79 kit. Now, uh, these Tyro kits are super inexpensive in terms of uh, components and uh, what you get. But the trick is you got to build it. So starting right off the bat, something we're not going to use, it's a three inch carbon fiber frame, right? We're going with the donut because we're going to make this a uh, set of whoop. Now here it looks like we got a VTX. I believe this is switchable up to 200 milliwatts. So that's awesome. Some uh, carbon fiber deals. Got some screws, prop nuts. Uh, some more parts. Uh, this looks like a battery skid protector. We may end up actually, no, we're going to put it on top. So we're not going to use that. I uh, may use these feet though. We got some props, some three inch props, four blade propellers. Uh, we'll try these. Uh, I've got some extra three inch, uh, three blade props, but uh, you know what? We'll see how these do because they come in the kit. Uh, we've got four brushless motors now. These are Isheen branded. They're bigger motors though. Um, it's like 1607-2800 KV motor. So uh, definitely bigger than uh, my Cinewhip build, but uh, we'll see how these things work. Got our FPV camera here. I, I can't see what uh, actually, what brand this is. I thought it was a Cadex, but maybe it is, maybe it is not. Looks like our flight controller. It's a 20 by 20 board. Our ESC, all in one. Capacitor already on there. That's actually really nice. Uh, this is some more, um, these are standoffs and things for the frame. Some zip ties, battery strap. And this is actually what makes the kit nice, connectors. And these are all plug-in connectors. Uh, the only thing I have to solder here, uh, this battery lead here and uh, the motors. More screws. All right, before we dive into the build, let's actually look at this thing flying around. Uh, it doesn't perform as nimbly as it would had you just left it on the original Tyro frame. You know, that is a nimble uh, racing freestyle frame, so it's uh, a lot easier to kind of twitch around and fly fast. The goal of this is to fly slow. Now, the footage you're seeing here is actually a Runcam uh, Nano Split that I put on there. They're a new version, so it records HD. And my goal was to get it under 250 grams. You can do that uh, if you're safe and weight you're using a 3s battery uh, so if you want to keep it under 250 grams you can do that now uh, if you want to throw a GoPro on there and that was the quick footage that I showed you at the beginning I'll show you some more absolutely better footage uh, that is almost always going to be over 250 grams I don't think you can do it uh, I flew this with my uh, GoPro Hero 8 awesome awesome footage put a 4s battery on there I'm pushing 300 and some odd grams uh, but you know what great footage now people want to know can you fly this thing fast can you do flips and rolls yeah you can um, I'd recommend taking the ducks off that's the thing uh, you can take them off put them back on that's up to you uh, but yeah great little flyer decent HD footage coming out of this run cam nano if you want to stay under 250 grams you can try something like that otherwise uh, put to get together and uh, add your GoPro all right, I'm going to go through a quick build sequence and show you how it's done. Okay, so let's talk about what I've done already just to kind of prep. One, uh, I've loosely put this frame together. Uh, this is the donut frame. Uh, I put the motors into place. Uh, I put in 
two screws for each motor. Don't put in more than two uh, until you get everything uh, set and ready to go. Uh, you'll kind of notice uh, how I have it set up. Actually, if we look at uh, this is the back, this is the front of the quad. Uh, you can see uh, I've got my counterclockwise motors here and here, right? Because they're going to spin props out. Um, and uh, my clockwise motors uh, here and here. Now I'm ready to start tinning. Uh, when I say tinning, I'm gonna, that means pre-soldering. Basically, I had to put solder on here, solder on here, uh, on all of the wires. Then I also have to solder, um, put solder on uh, my ESCs here, right? And I have to solder here and here for the battery. Actually, now that I look at this, this is upside down. So now I've pre-tinned, meaning I've put solder on all of these spots. I've also pre-tinned these wires. Even though they are pre-tinned, uh, they could use a little bit of good solder, uh, probably lead-free solder coming out of the factory, but who knows. I've also pre-tinned these, and now I'm going to go ahead and start soldering. So good solder and a good soldering iron will make a huge difference. So you're going to want to invest in that, plus some flux or a flux pen. Uh, then you can go ahead and start putting it together, standoffs on, and uh, just kind of put it together. All right, so you can see I basically just plugged everything in, camera plugs in, VTX plugs in. Uh, this is the wire for my receiver. Now I'm going to actually snip this off and uh, solder on the XT I'm sorry, the XM Plus receiver. That's up to you. I did have to do one tiny bit of soldering still. Uh, it's kind of hard to see here, but uh, right here, this S bus um, and the pin next to it, I had to solder a uh, bridge, right? So that I can use an XM Plus. If you're using a PBM receiver, um, that's on this uh, right side here. But on the left, you can a tiny bit of solder. It's kind of hard to see there, uh, but that's what we're doing. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Uh, you notice I kind of put it together without the ducts first. Um, and the reason is because the USB is right here. And if I need to adjust it in beta flight, I can't do that uh, with the ducts on. So rather than um, taking them off and on, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and test it. Uh, my first flight is without. So uh, I've gone ahead and put it together a little bit more, added the receiver. Um, you can see that I've uh, zip tied my XM Plus receiver antennas coming out the back. I use a little um, <clears throat> zip tie and then some shrink wrap. Uh, I'm going with the yellow here to match the propellers. I've added the propellers. Um, I actually have already uh, set this up in beta flight. Uh, it sets up just like any other drone. Uh, I did make a modification here. I had this old lollipop um, UFL connector you can see. Uh, I just replaced uh, the standard uh, dipole here. Just going to get some better reception uh, for my video transmitter. So like that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and test this first without the ducks, um, how it performs. And if I need to adjust the in beta flight, I will do that. One thing before you plug in any quad that you've uh, built, make sure that you test it first. Um, recommend you get something like this. This is called a smoke stopper. Um, and uh, it has a fuse in here so that uh, if I did something bad when I was soldering, um, it won't allow it to smoke up. Looks like we're good. Uh, so uh, we can go ahead and uh, fly her. So this is actually the maiden flight here with the uh, Tyro Whoop. Uh, on the uh, GoPro 8, which is an awesome camera. Absolutely love it. Uh, flying it line of sight, so we're not doing super fancy stuff, but I thought the uh, playground here, you can see some of the colors. It's kind of a drab day. We're not uh, expecting really nice weather anytime in the uh, next few months, I don't think. I'm right outside of Chicago, so um, unfortunately, the uh, Landscape is going to be brown and dull. Uh, so, you know, hey, a little park action. Not bad. So, uh, you can see the uh, camera here on the GoPro absolutely better than the run cam. But, like I said, um, pushing it over 250 grams. So, you know, there's that. Uh, can you do things with this that you can't with a DJI, DJI drone? Absolutely. Um, you know, you can do flips and rolls and acro stuff. That takes time to learn. But hey, um, you know, check this out. Actually, right now it is on sale with the uh, Banggood 1111 sale. You can get the Tyro for, I think it's $69. I um, mean, you can put this thing together for just 100 bucks. That's a steal. Hey, good luck and happy flying.